In the previous tutorial, we saw how to incorporate all the different supported charts in a report. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to render dynamic images for different uses. To work with the different types of images, we start with a report developed on a data source with a product name, a product code, and some other fields we will use during the tutorial. The first type of image we would like to use is the barcode image. In this example, we're going to render a barcode in code 128 symbol format using the product code field retrieved in the data source. There are several symbol formats we can use, for example, code 39 or PDF 417. Now that we know how to insert a barcode into our report, let's see how to set up and use sparklines. Remember that a sparkline is a very small line chart, typically drawn without axis or coordinates. So we're going to use the sparkline field of the data source that retrieves a list of values in comma-separated values format. First, let's see the line sparkline in action. And then the bar sparkline. A quite different type of sparkline is the pi sparkline. It requires a value from 0 to 1 to be shown. Let's see it in action. Last but not least, let's see how to use the survey scale as the way of graphically representing values on a predefined scale. Now that we have seen how to customize images and charts in a report, in the next section, we're going to modify them using parameters and internationalization.